The next lesson is solving systems of linear and quadratic equations. Uh, there could be three different types of situations. One, where we have the quadratic or intercept the linear in two different places. The quadratic, the linear equation on one side, or they just don't intersect at all. So we could have these three different things, okay? So for problem one, it says, which numbers are y values of the solutions of the system of equations? So they graphed, or they have already graphed y equals negative x squared plus 5x. And then the linear equation is shown here. And we know that it intersects at 0, 6, and it also intersects at 4, 10. And they're asking for the y values. In this case, it's going to be 6, be 10. So your answer is D. Uh, so this problem, they already gave us the graph and all. So we're solving this linear quadratic system by substitution. And you can see uh, they replaced the y value. And they set it equal to each other. So now we're going to do the algebra part. We're going to subtract x from negative x, and we're also going to subtract 3 from 6. So what you get is negative x squared minus 2x plus 3 equals, now I'm going to, I'm going to make sure I do this right, so you have negative 2x, 6 minus 3, okay, equals 0. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out a negative 1. So when I factor out a negative 1, it's going to be x squared plus 2x minus 3 equals 0. And if I were to divide by negative 1, I would have x squared plus 2x minus 3 equals 0. Let's go ahead and find the factors of negative 3 that will add up to give me 2. And we know that it's going to be x minus uh, 1 times x plus 3 equals 0. So we have x minus 1 equals 0, and we have x plus 3 equals 0, so x equals 1, and we know that x equals negative 3. And for us to figure out the y value, all you would have to do is substitute so in this case, um, I'm going to substitute into this equation. So we already we just have the x value, right? We need to find the y value. So I'm going to substitute into the equation. So I have um, one plus three. So that's going to be that's going to be four. So y equals one plus three. So that's four. So the order pair is one comma four. And the other one is y equals negative 3 plus 3. That gives you 0, so it's going to be negative 3 comma 0. Now, if you want to see this graphically, to check it, you can. So you have negative x squared minus x plus 6. Enter. And then menu graph function. You have uh, x plus 3, enter. And if you want to find those intersections, just go to Menu, Analyze Graph, and find the intersection. So here's the first intersection. It was 1, 4. That's what we found. And then the other intersection is negative 3, 0, so just like we got. Okay? I have negative x squared minus x plus 12 equals x squared plus 7x plus 12. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add x, uh, add x squared to both sides. So I have negative x, uh, negative x plus 12 equals 2x squared plus 7x plus 12. I'm going to add x to both sides and I'm going to subtract 12. So I have 0 equals 2x squared plus 
8x. Okay, you can get a common factor which is 2x, and you have x plus 4 equals 0. So 2x equals 0 and x plus 4 equals 0. So we know that x equals 0 and x equals negative 4. So now let's go ahead and do this graphically so we can find those points. So go to menu. Uh, I'm going to click on, I'm just going to, I guess I'm just going to click on the equation. So I have uh, x squared uh, plus 7x plus 12. Enter. And then the other equation is negative x squared minus x plus 12. Enter. And I'm just going to use my screen. I'm going to scroll. And you notice there's the two intersections. So I'm just going to go to menu. I'm going to go to menu and analyze graph. Find the intersection. So there's the first one, 0, 12. We had said it was 0. The other intersection is negative 4, negative 4, 0. Okay? 